In lieu of yesterday's PlayStation Showcase, which I thought was a pretty good showcase for the most part, uh, we did not get a whole lot from Square Enix. Uh, we got Final Fantasy 16, of course, and then we got Foam Stars, which looks dumb as hell, I'll be honest with you. But we didn't get Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth like a lot of people thought we might. Um, when they first announced the showcase, I told everybody, I don't think it's going to be there. Then eventually I saw all the Twitter hype and everything, and I fell for the hype monster, and I was like, okay, I, th I think it could be there. I it, it doesn't make marketing sense for it to be there, even though a lot, of, a lot of hype mongers out there said it did, which it does not. Like Final Fantasy 16 is not even out yet. Here's the deal. I wanted to do a little video explaining where and how we might see Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth based on somebody with a lot of marketing experience, right? Which is me, which is I. A lot of people, you all, a lot of you all come to this channel for that information. I gladly provide it for you. So, to start with, Final Fantasy 16, even once it's out, right, it's still going to have a month of television ads circulation, and this stuff all has to be paid for and approved and planned. I mean, the the media cycle for uh, Final Fantasy 16 began began six months ago. Like they started planning the media and the, the releases for the trailers and all that kind of stuff. This is their main focus right now. That's why you don't see a whole lot of anything coming from Square Enix right now. Hey, we got Foam Stars coming. They know nobody cares about that. They wanted to put another release out there. It's like, hey, we got this little quirky thing we're working on. Some of you might like it. Whatever. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're not going to see anything for this game, I don't think until August or September, because once Final Fantasy 16 comes out, you still got four to six weeks of marketing coming out because they're not just trying to push people to pre-order it. They're gonna be pushing word of mouth, backing up word of mouth. See, that's the thing, not just word of mouth, but backing up word of mouth. So if you're, let's say you're watching a YouTube video, I come on one or two weeks after Final Fantasy 16 comes out, you know, the reviews will be out as soon as the game's out. But then a lot of people, Square Enix knows this, all right? Most game companies know this. They are going to rely on regular personalities, YouTubers and stuff like that, bloggers, after a couple weeks after the game's out, to plant that seed again for people who haven't bought the game. This is called your, uh, your secondary market share. So when, when you hit the secondary market, that's people who didn't pre-order the game, who have been on the fence, are curious about it. They are going to go out and purchase the game based on word of mouth from people who like, who actually played it, whose people opinions trust, whose opinions people trust. And those people that played it come out a couple weeks after the game comes out, they say, hey, this is a great game. The next circulation of ads begins. Like, you're gonna have the release window ads that came out with the review scores and stuff like that on it. Two to three weeks later, you're gonna have another round of sh short 30 second TV clips and 30 second internet clips and stuff like that of ads backing up people that are coming out with their own personal reviews. So, hmm, that person liked it. Oh, this ad looks good. This new ad looks good. Oh, interesting. I'll go buy that. And then you've got the third round. The third round begins two to three weeks after that depending on how they want to do it. So people that have been on the fence for a while, now the first week, the diehards got it, everybody's talking about it. Starts to die down a little bit, two weeks later, boom, that, that second wave of advertising and reviews comes out. People are like, oh, okay, it keeps the ball floating. You get another couple million units sold. Then three weeks later, the people who were su the super casuals who were very on the fence about it, who might like stuff like that, like, you know what, I'm gonna pick this up and give it a try, you know? And then, boom, picked up. We don't know if there's gonna be DLC for Final Fantasy 16. Uh, if there is, then, um, you know, a couple months after the game's out, they'll be getting into that. But then we're talking August, September, right? The next big Square Enix thing will be Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. That's why I've been saying from the start, especially if Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is on the 2024 side of winter, which I wholeheartedly 100% believe it will be. I do not believe it's going to be 
uh, December 2023. I just don't. I just, I haven't thought that was realistic from the beginning. Hopeful. You know, if it happens, great. I'll be excited and happy to be wrong about that. But I think it's going to need some more time in the oven. I think they're going to polish this thing to no end. They want to make sure it's completely on point when it comes out. Um, I'm sure they're pro polishing it, starting to polish right now, you know. But I have said from the beginning, I thought March, April 2024 is when we're getting this game. And if that's the case, August or September, we might see our first trailer. Or our next trailer. First full-length trailer. If we see something at Summer Games Fest, that's great. I think they could do a trailer now and still just say, you know, coming this winter. They said this winter. They didn't say winter 2023 or winter 2024. They said this winter. So they could do another this winter trailer. But I think in August or September, we get like a March 2024 or an April 2024. Not a specific date, but a more concise window. And I think... A lot of game companies have learned their lesson about putting things out there too quickly um, as far as like, you know, with their marketing, talking with their marketing department, talking with their graphic design crew, talking with their uh, writers and everybody who has you know, directors who have leverage and say on what goes into the pressers, the press packets, the pressers, the media kits, the advertising, the, uh, the upfronts, all that kind of stuff. So... Take heart, the game is coming, <laughs> right? We need to stop giving in to the hype mongers. Stop, I'm not going to do it again. Like, when, when, when I feel strongly about something, I'm going to be like, okay, I think we could see this. But I do not give in to the hype mongers and the hype peddlers anymore. Don't do it. Uh, just, just stop, because it's, it's going to put everybody in a bad mood. Like, like what I'm seeing right now, you know... Square promised nothing. PlayStation promised, hinted at nothing. You know, this is all on us. So, I think, I, I'm, I'm excited that it's taking so long to get this out because I think it means we're going to get a bigger, better game. Final Fantasy VII Remake was great, but it was not a perfect game. Well, it was my goatee, but it was not a perfect game. Too many, like, disguised hallways and corridors long paths you go down where there's no reward and for an rpg that's not that's not cricket that's not couth you know what i mean so uh fix a lot of that i think they are i, I think they're going to make a big massive zone heavy world with many 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 massive zones and for me personally that redefines my definition of open world i don't want a game where I pick up a bunch of sticks and twigs and blades of grass that I can never use, but I can pick them and keep them in my inventory, but I just never use them. You know, like Elder Scrolls. That's my biggest knock on Elder Scrolls. I've got like 50 wooden bowls in this trunk that I could just pick up and take with me. Who cares? Who cares? You know? So I don't want that for this game. So, but that's a video for another time. Anyway, take heart. It's all in the advertising, it's all in the marketing. If you can, if you can read between the lines, I'm going to drop some more videos on this, uh, just because I know a lot of you all enjoy that kind of content. Uh, and I've seen the, the, the kettle starting to boil over with the fan base on this. Look at the end of the day, I'm keep it, keep it a buck with you all. Keep it a hundred with you all. No one promised anything that is in charge of anything to do with this game, right? People can read things a certain way or whatever, but nothing was promised from Sony. Nothing was promised from Square. If content creators promise something, that doesn't count. That is nothing, right? That is nothing. If a leaker promised something, that is nothing. That is nothing. Even if they have a great track record, put that in the nothing and we'll wait and see pile. The zero level. <laughs> it's... So that's that's the best I can that's the best I can break it down for you. Anyway, the game is coming. We're gonna we're probably gonna be looking at nine months. We're probably nine to ten months away from this game coming out. Just rough estimate. Hopefully it's before that, but safe bet is nine to ten months. So anyway, I got more Final Fantasy VII Remake Saga content coming. I call it the Remake Saga because you know Rebirth. We don't know what the third one's gonna be called. 
Um, I'm kicking, I'm kicking that content back up. Uh, I've got a fire to do it again. So appreciate everybody who stuck around and didn't unsubscribe when I wasn't making Final Fantasy VII Rebirth content or remake content. You know, it just, it would just been me saying the same stuff over and over again. You know, just in just you know regurgitating things. I didn't want to do that. I want to give you all the best content I can. So, anyway, subscribe. Throw a like on the video, all that kind of good stuff if you liked it. Also, support me on Patreon, support me here on YouTube. Uh, you can super thanks on the video. You can super chat when I'm doing live stuff. Uh, everything helps. Everything helps the creation of art and animation and and content and everything I do here at the channel and on the, on the channel. So, until then, y'all have a great day. Be safe. Be good to each other. Keep rocking. And I will see you all next time. I hope this alleviates some of your worries and some of your frustrations uh, but you know we'll we'll talk more about it later we might we might do um a live stream discussing some of this stuff soon so anyway y'all take care have a great day i'll catch it i'll catch you real soon I want to say a quick thank you to my YouTube and Patreon members and supporters. If you would like to support the future creation of content on this channel, get some few extra perks and some art sent to your door every month, consider becoming a Patreon or YouTube member. Details and links are in the video description.